Hi guys, welcome back to Quran Logics, where I take a very quick look at the logical thinking and the logical reasoning used and applied in the Islamic Quran. If the author of the Quran is indeed a perfect God, the book should be perfect and not contain errors or, for sure, nothing illogical. But, alas, dear Muslims, it is indeed a rough time for you. A tough time indeed because claims from the Quran are being refuted left, right and center and your ideology is shown to be meaningless all the time. Like why are there messengers and prophets? In Islam we are told that there are humans who require guidance, who were created so that they don't understand the full message of their creator. That's why there are messengers and prophets, you know the Rasul and the Nabi. They receive direct messages from their creator. They never seek personal benefits such as wealth, high status or power, only the approval of God. Now, more and more people are waking up and starting to question the dogma and the logical reasoning of this, like what I am doing at the moment. Why are there messengers and prophets? Why are there humans who need human messengers and prophets? Why can't an all, and I'm asking this with tears in my eyes, why can't an all-powerful, all-knowing, all-merciful God not construct only messengers and prophets, those who understand the message and only do what pleases their creator? Why not create humans and convey the full message to everyone. Create humans capable of understanding the full message to then please their creator, worship their creator and get the approval from their all merciful creator. Thanks for taking an interest in this video and if you like it give me a thumbs up, if you don't give me a thumbs down do me a favor and tell me why. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.